I am Dana Malcolm. Rashid Eslan joins me. We have your evening edition of Top Stories for Thursday, November 2nd, 2023. Next, the news that matters most. Century 21 Arishar Properties is your best resource for buying or selling any real estate in the Turks and Caicos Islands, whether it's a condo, house, villa, commercial property, or vacant land. Century 21 TCI can assist you with your real estate needs. No matter the sign, keep Century 21 Arishar Properties in mind. Call 649-941-7368 or email your friends at century21tci.com. A net billing program allowing residents to install renewable energy systems and sell surplus electricity to the grid is part of the new renewable energy bill currently being tabled in the House of Assembly. Also in the details, to reduce fossil fuel reliance, increase energy diversity, improve infrastructure, attract energy investors, create energy jobs, and getting TCI to the place where 33% of energy comes from renewable sources by 2040. While country leaders were today gathered in Grand Turk discussing new issues, an old one emerged in Providenciales. Main roads were inundated with water, slowing traffic and making moving around in the busy town nearly impossible. The Turks and Caicos Met Service had forecast a 50% chance of rain and thunderstorms for Wednesday going into Thursday night because of the last remnants of a surface trough moving away from the country. It's not clear if drainage issues contributed to that serious flooding in downtown Provo. For a second week, members of the House of Assembly were gathered in Parliament and on the packed agenda was the Public Procurement Ordinance Amendment Bill, National Insurance Amendment Bill, National Health Insurance Amendment Bill, Financial Intelligence Agency Amendment Bill, and the highly anticipated Criminal Law Amendment Bill. In the final stages, MPs were set to vote on the proposals. Rashid Aswan is next with updates from around the region. This is your news leader, Magnetic Media. The Royal TCI Police Force is recruiting males and females between 18 and 40 years old. You have an opportunity to become a member with benefits like uniforms and a basic salary of over $43,000 per year. What you need is proof of TCI citizenship. Be a holder of a valid TCI driver's license. Hold at least a high school diploma or three CXC subjects. Be computer literate and be physically fit. There is more, so be sure to visit the website for details and the application. It's tcipolice.tc. More than a job, a brilliant career in law enforcement. It's now time for your regional top stories. I'm Rashid Essen. Belize has decided to remove all fees charged in public hospitals, a move towards universal access to quality health care as financial barriers will be stumped out, especially for low-income people. This was announced by the government of Belize in a press release on October 31st. The World Health Organization, WHO, is calling attention to suicide on its Facebook, speaking on the warning signs of suicide and how one should approach helping a suicidal person. For instance, you can lend a listening ear, help them find professional help, and also check on them frequently to ensure they are coping properly. From 2015 to 2019, 98,000 suicide deaths per year were reported in the Americas, according to PAHO. The Agriculture Development Organization in the Bahamas donated 200 backyard farming kits to the Fox Hill community to inspire families to adopt backyard farming. This is in partnership with Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines and the Church Commercial Farming Group. Through this, the Bahamas will potentially aid in the Caribbean feeding itself, reducing food imports through increased agriculture activity as visioned by officials during this year's Carbon Week of Agriculture opening event last month. Magnetic Media is your news leader. The National Health Insurance Plan has over 37,000 contributors. That's 37,000 of us working together to take care of one another. Your contribution ensures my wife and unborn child gets the prenatal care they deserve. Your contribution helps me to afford my medication. Your contribution has helped my loved one receive treatment during their untimely emergency. Your contribution gives my family peace of mind. So thank you for your contribution. This message has been brought to you by the National Health Insurance Board, building a healthy nation, one person at a time. 
Following evidence from several former aides and civil servants, the UK government has been painted as slow to act and unsure during the early stages of the coronavirus pandemic. Dominic Cummings, former advisor to ex-Prime Minister Boris Johnson, described a chaotic first few weeks, while other aides exposed that there was fear surrounding their slow reaction that they would kill people. Over 67,000 people in the UK and Wales died in 2020 alone. Disorganized showers and thunderstorms are over the Central Caribbean today. They're associated with a trough of low pressure. Environmental conditions could become a little bit more conducive for development in a day or two, and a tropical depression could form when the system moves over the southwestern Caribbean Sea during the latter part of this week. Regardless of development, though, the National Hurricane Center says this system has the potential to produce heavy rains over portions of Central America late this week and into the weekend. That is it for this edition of the news. Thanks for joining us. Top Stories in 5 is a Magnetic Media production.